Hello. Hello, dears. I hope all, all of you are get ready with the paint set. May I know who all are there? Just let me know, am I audible or can you see the screen properly? Hello, dear. Yes, Kriti. Kriti, am I audible or can you see this paper? Can you just tell me? Am I visible? <coughs> Hi, Sanjali. Okay, Kriti. Okay, okay, dear. So I hope all of you are ready with with your drawing set. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, we need to keep our book on portrait mode. Okay, so portrait mode in the sense like this, like this. Since my book is quite big, like A3 size, I'm keeping like in landscape mode, and I'm drawing only in this side to show you okay so that it will fit in the screen all right okay so just keep your book in portrait mode or vertical like that okay and today we are going to draw a simple drawing of uh, hot air balloons or the parachutes you know that okay so let's start Okay, I hope all of you. All right, so let's start. Okay, so first, I will just keep some, some. Okay, I will keep my that here so this is the canvas i'm drawing and you you can keep it in portrait mode okay okay so let's start okay so first we are going to draw a hot air balloon so you need to draw like a big oval shape like this but you you don't need to complete it okay just give it a big shape like this big bow like shape okay and once it's done you can just connect those together make it proper like this Okay. okay. The next step is we are going to draw one straight line here and one straight line here. A very small one. Okay. Two small vertical lines. And the next step is connecting that also. So a band like this has been formed and the balloon like shape also is there. This is for the parachute we are drawing. Next, we need to draw a basket, okay? So, we are going to draw like two vertical lines again. The next step is we have to draw a 
straight line connecting these two lines which we have drawn and you can just extend it a little to both sides. Then again, just below that, I'm again drawing one more straight line parallel to this line, which we have drawn just now. And then we need to connect the both edges with a slight curvy line. This is for the basket. Drawing two more lines to down for the basket and connecting that also. So the next step is here inside this basket we are drawing some slanting lines. For the design of the basket okay and again to the reverse direction you can add more lines like this I hope all of you have done until this step then in between also I'm adding two lines like this these are the ropes to carry that basket. Okay. So the next step is we are going to give some designs on this parachute. Okay, balloon area. So the next step is just draw one curve on the top of the balloon and then one straight line connecting from there to the below area okay kriti so let's go to the next step okay so from here i'm drawing a curvy line and from here also i'm drawing a curvy line Next is we can draw curves like this. Some horizontal curves, not too curvy. Okay, like this you can draw some horizontal curves also. All right little smaller okay this one is quite big and next one I'm going too small compared to the first one okay and again the same step two straight lines like this then connecting on the top and bottom Then the, again the same step we are following, just two more straight lines here and then two parallel lines like this. Uh, hi Krishna, hi uh, Kanika, one of my blood that's black. It's fine Kriti, no problem. All right then connect it again and then again do our box same like what we have drawn for the bigger parachute the same step we are drawing for the smaller one
Okay, and same here also we are drawing some slanting lines to both direction. And for this parachute, you can use uh, some another kind of designs in any kind of design you like. Okay, just I'm doing some horizontal curves and just filling each block with some designs. You can use any of your favorite designs, any patterns you can draw. any simple drawings you can add on this okay and here also two straight lines which we have drawn to the bottom side okay on the bottom side okay on the bottom side you can just add from the edge of the paper you can just add one curve like this and one curve from here to here just like the valleys okay just like two valleys you can add and you can just add some bushes on either side of the valleys as well like simply scribbling like yes uh, dear you can draw hearts also no problem And I'm just adding some bushes. You can draw hearts also or any kind of designs or inside this uh, parachute. Okay. But make big, big patterns so that you can easily paint or color. Okay. So whatever we are drawing, it will be easy if you are drawing it big. Okay. So done with the bottom side okay so the bottom side i have had one curve here and one curve here it's like the valley and some scribbles like this and this makes the some bushes okay so our bottom side and the parachute is ready next is we are just going to draw some some nice uh clouds here we can draw clouds like this okay one or two sets of clouds you can draw okay guys so our drawing is done okay so next next is let's start painting okay it's a simple simple drawing so next is we are going to color okay so first what we need is uh, you can no we can start coloring the sky first okay so for that if you have a flat brush you can take a flat brush or a round brush also no problem can take a dark blue shade first and just start painting in horizontal way to the on the top of the session you can start okay with the dark blue shade fill the top of your paper It's okay you can use any paper no problem these are just simple basic drawings but you can use no problem and the next step i'm using a light blue shade and just filling filling the below areas very lightly very lightly i'm filling You have to fill it until the valley you have drawn. Okay, fill the entire area, the back side. And you need to fill this gap also because these are rough. So 
in between area you have you can see the sky so you can just fill that area also and you can fill the entire paper with your blue shade in case if you are not using a watercolor set but a color pencil or crayon same use fill all these backgrounds with the blue shade light blue shade Yes dear, the entire background we are filling with light blue shade. This is for the sky. So the entire sky we are filling with light blue shade. spread evenly so it will be beautiful Alright, so I have done with the light blue shade. Just let me know if all of you have done, those who are doing have finished it or what. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, once the, once the sky is completed, you can use your, you can start painting your parachute. So you can take any of your favorite colors and just fill the boxes, orange shade and just filling the box like one by one. Okay, I'm randomly filling with different colors. So you can choose any of your favorite color.
नेक्स्ट आई एम यूजिंग अ येलो शेड लेमन येलो शेड टू फिल द नेक्स्ट बॉक्स यू कैन चूज द बॉक्स रैंडमली एनी एनी ऑफ एनी बॉक्सेस यू कैन जस्ट फिल लाइक दैट right once done with the yellow you can pick any of your favorite color I'm using a green shade to fill the rest of the boxes. Again, I'm filling randomly. If you are using color pencil or crayons, also you can fill with fill like this with any of your favorite colors. now i took a purple shade and filling the boxes Yes, the entire parachute is completed. First parachute is completed. So the next step I'm going to do is the pocket entirely with the light brown shade. I'm doing the same for the the smaller one also. First filling with the light brown shade. Simply filling. Okay, so the next step is I'm taking a little darker shade of the brown. In case if you don't have a darker brown shade, you can use a red also. Okay, and then just. giving some shading some okay just giving some random shadings with a darker brown shade
okay and now we can fill the second second parachute also with any of your favorite colors Yes, could be. Do slowly, no problem. I will wait for you. Okay, slowly do. Okay. You can pick any of your favorite colors for filling the parachutes. All colors are totally fine. But it's better if you don't use blue shade inside the parachute because we already used the blue shade for sh coloring the sky. So if you again choose the blue shade, it will be difficult to differentiate between parachute and the sky. So better choose any other colors okay, like orange, red, yellow, green and all colors which we are not using in the sky. You can choose the colors for coloring the parachute or the hot air balloon you can simply fill like that with any of the medium you are using you can simply fill it So I have completed the parachutes and the sky. I hope all of you have done until this. This is quite simple drawing today. Okay dear, take your time and fill it, no problem. Those who have completed can start painting the landscapes. Now you can choose the light green shade for first filling the entire landscape and then in the lower side with the light green shade. Okay, simply fill it. Those who have who have completed may start filling the landscape. Those who are still doing, no worries. Take your time and do slowly only. So those who have finished first. You can fill the entire landscape area with light green.
and that bushes we have drawn also you can just fill with a light green shade okay i hope you all have completed then the next step is we need to take some dark green shade and a medium green shade also okay first let's take the medium green shade okay and just i'm just giving some shades first Okay, like this you can give shadings to the landscape first for the valley we have drawn you can simply give some shadings and giving some shadings to the like outlining giving sh with medium green I'm just doing the bushes we have drawn also I'm just spread it and merge it with the light green so that it will be more beautiful to see and you have and just put some stippling things like this like simply give some dots 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 like this the method of shading using dots are called stippling so using the stippling method you can just fill the entire area of the bushes you have drawn okay simply like giving very close 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 stipplings on either side of the bushes some darker green shade and again I'm picking that dark green shade and just giving a outline like this for the valley we have drawn Alright, so the entire drawing also completed and painting also completed so fastly. So the next step is, those who have done until this step may take the, take your black marker and outline this. Just let me know if you have completed and let's proceed. Just let me know. Okay dear, so I'm just filling some more blues here, but anywhere if there is any flows you can just fill it now. Okay, just randomly fill cover all anywhere. If there is any flows in your artwork, you can simply cover it now. Okay, so the next for the next step I'm taking a black pen. Okay, and I'm just going to outline. Hopefully, all your drawings are dried now. If your painting is dried, you can start 
outlining with your marker or the pen you have okay, and very carefully outline across the pencil drawing which you have drawn so very careful and fill it If you have a sketch pen set also you can use that sketch pen also for marking if uh, if you have a marker sketch marker pen set uh, you may use the dark brown sh brown shade for outlining this brown area and over these you can over here you can use any color color pens like that okay not necessarily always using black only okay Like this you can outline the second second parachute also you can outline with the black pen or you can use a colored marker also or a sketch pen also anything is totally fine for outlining Before outlining, make sure the your artwork is completely dried or else it is going to spread and make a mess. right so over here also you can outline the valley and your bushes as well Alright, that's it. No worries, dear. Take your time.
and once this much done you may take your uh, color pencil or your sketch pen anything for shading as well okay if you want to give a nice shading you can pick your color pencil also so i am also going to try with my color pencil so i pick my color pencil and just going to correct these areas anywhere there is white okay so even inside yellow also i'm just giving some random shadings okay so you can use it like a mixed mixed media okay anywhere but wherever there is little bit spread or anything you can just or some white spaces you can correct it with a color pencil just give some random shading as it Thank you Kriti. I hope you have completed. Okay, so wherever there is a flow, you can just fill it and even this color, you can just use any other shade also. Simply filling. Good. So Okay, and as a final step, I'm just taking my black pen again and giving some lines like this across this across this boxes we have drawn inside the parachute. Okay, only on this one. Why? Because uh, it gives like a stitch stitch mark like that. Okay, so it will be quite beautiful. only inside part only okay you can just give some short short lines while you are outlining you can just add this it will give like a stitches on inside like the patches are stitched woven together like that feeling you will get okay so just add some small lines across the but make sure it's only inside this one And I choosing a light blue shade again in pencil and just giving a outline shading around the parachute. So in case if there is any white white spaces are there, will be filled. Right now, I'm doing the same on the small parachute as well. Give a light shading like this. Okay. Alright, so our today's work is completed. So the parachute is ready. So I hope everyone have done it. So those who have completed, don't forget to send me the picture. And I hope you have enjoyed. And thank you, Krishna. And if you enjoyed the drawing, don't forget to subscribe our channel. And don't forget to join the session coming Sunday as well. All right, so all right, guys. See you. So let me wind up the session, and if anyone is still still finishing, you can rewind the session and finish it as well. 
okay and if anyone missed they can thank you kriti okay so let's meet next sunday bye dears bye Kir- kriti bye krishna bye shweta okay no dear having shweta having completed i guess okay dear take your time no problem okay okay tanvi <laughs> okay tanvi sorry i thought your name is krishna okay tanvi and shweta and kriti okay take care bye dears